So if you would like something that's going to be multi-purpose, I highly recommend looking into the StarSense Explorer line of telescopes. This is the StarSense 80 LT. It's the smaller of the refractor telescopes that you can get for StarSense Explorer. I've taken the finder scope off of this so that there's no temptation for someone to look through the finder scope at the sun because of course that's dangerous to do. And we have on the front the ability to install a solar filter. It just kind of snugly fits over the front of the telescope. It's meant for this scope itself. And once it's on there, there's some friction knobs that hold it in place. We've got a little cap that goes over it when it's not in use. And that cap can be taken off when you're about to view the sun. And my way, my favorite way to get this set up is to simply look at the shadow. And by looking at the shadow, I can see that I've made the profile of the telescope as thin as possible so that I know I'm pointing directly at the sun. So I'm kind of doing this in a kind of backwards way. Um, it's hard to see from here, but when, when you do this, you also get some little lensing effects that are on the ground you can monitor. And you can kind of see that as it gets closer to the telescope, you'll know you're closer. So then what you'll want to do is you will want to get it close. And then once you're close, you can come back here and you can find the sun pretty easily because of this altitude and azimuth type system. It's just kind of locked in place under friction and you can loosen these knobs. You can turn it in azimuth. You can loosen this knob here and the little fine adjustment knobs on the side. And then you can just kind of peruse your way around the sky, find the sun. Once again, you might want to kind of use the shadow to get you close. And I've found it. it. Takes a little bit of moving around. So once you've found the sun, I suggest locking these down so that you can get your view in place and then simply focus until you see the sunspots or the edge of the sun. The limb of the sun is as sharp as possible and you'll know that you've made your best focus possible on the sun. Now, the actual Star Sense Explorer app here, you'll notice I've left the cover on it. You don't want to be using that because your, your cell phone's camera, just like your eyes, is susceptible to direct sunlight. So you could damage the cell phone sensor, the camera sensor, and possibly even do uh, permanent damage to the phone. So you don't want to use the Star Sense Explorer technology when viewing the sun. If you're interested in any of the products in this video, please consider clicking the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you nothing extra if you make a purchase and helps support Cosmos Safari bring the universe closer than you think.